What is up everybody? It is me Mandy here and welcome back to another video. Today I am finally going to be reviewing Endless Ocean Luminous. I'm sorry it has taken me so long. I honestly really had to think about my opinions on this game and talking about the title for a second, this totally just kind of wraps up my thoughts on the game if I could put it in one sentence. So the title is totally just my opinion. I thought it was a fitting way to describe my overall personal thoughts on the game so if you think differently that's totally fine but today i'm going to be reviewing endless ocean luminous and kind of walking through all the things i like and dislike all the pros and cons because like any game there are pros and cons on my mind so let's get right into it So if we look at Endless Ocean Luminous, kind of from a distance, we see a pretty chill, relaxed scuba diving game where your main goal is to kind of collect all the animals in different sizes, in different breeds and species, and to salvage items along the way. You have UMLs, which are special creatures that you have to discover throughout each dive. You can do this in solo dive, and you can do this in multiplayer shared dives. Looking at it just from watching people's gameplay, seeing the trailers and stuff like that, it seems like a very relaxed scuba diving game which I would say is true. <laughs> it is. It's super relaxing. It's super laid back. If you've played Blue World in particular, you know it wasn't always the case. Yes. So this is a very sit back, relax, get a cozy blanket, a cup of tea kind of game. And that's kind of the ultimate goal is to collect things, to see what you can find, to reach your milestones in how many creatures you can get in the size or how many items you can salvage, how many mystery boards you can get. Those are mostly the goals of the game. So for my review, I basically just want to go through all of the three game modes that are in this game and talk about kind of where my thoughts are at with them, how it was experiencing them for the first time, and just what I'm thinking now. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into story mode first. I'm starting the, with this one because I kind of want to get the <laughs> negative thoughts out of the way. The biggest thing I love about the Endless Ocean games, and I've made a video about this called The Heart Behind the Endless Ocean Games, the biggest thing I love about the Endless Ocean games is the storyline and how caring they were with how the story tied into marine life and education and the characters that were in the game. So going into Endless Ocean Luminous, I wasn't expecting anything fantastic, to be honest, like just going into it. But I was most excited for the story mode because of the impression that I got from the other games. I was ready to make a gameplay series fully diving into story mode. That was the thing that I was going to focus on. And you can see my very early reactions to this in my Endless Ocean Luminous series going through the game for the first time. So when I started story mode, yeah, <laughs> a lot of people have these thoughts too. The story mode is not great. And the reason that I am so passionate about talking about this, this topic on story mode is because it's not just Endless Ocean Luminous that has poorly executed story like storylines and plot lines. In general, storytelling is just plateauing a little bit. So going into Endless Ocean Luminous, taking the experiences that I had with the old games and just feeling this kind of careless, thrown together script of, of story mode, it just felt like everything else I've been seeing around, all the new stories coming out, and I'm not talking about like anything in particular. I'm just saying I think there's been less of a passion for stories within gaming and in, in general, the general popular world of stories. And I felt like playing Endless Ocean Luminous, it wasn't like a taste of my childhood and it wasn't a nostalgic experience of you know tearing up from the old games because of how it moved me so much so to be honest story mode i honestly don't even really want to finish it because it's just something i feel like i just click through and i just don't really care about and it doesn't even feel like the core 
purpose of the game whatsoever and i felt like the other games the story absolutely carried it and this is just like something to check off the list and not really experience whatsoever so to be honest i really dislike story mode and i'm not quick to say i dislike things i try to give it the benefit of the doubt but story mode in this was clearly not cared for whatsoever but moving on to solo dive mode i enjoy solo dive mode it is the place where you can really experience what the game was made for which is diving around discovering creatures filling out the creature log salvaging all the stuff i was talking about at the beginning and you just kind of get to have a cozy dive around uh randomly generated maps which the randomly generated maps feature did grow on me in solo and multiplayer dive which i'll get into in a second of course there are things about it that i don't love but it is really interesting to if i'm gonna be diving doing new dives all the time and really my only goal is to collect creature info and stuff like that i kind of like that maps are constantly changing so it gives you something to look forward to and it gives you like a little bit of a surprise every time you dive so in that sense it's exciting but i do wish there were more locations like in the other games but i do enjoy the solo dive feature i think that's where you really get to see where the heart of the game is is just kind of diving around and seeing the different biomes that you that are in the game and seeing the different creatures and just kind of collecting all the information that you need in the game the thing about solo dive mode is it's enjoyable but i do not think i would continuously want to keep playing it for like endlessly no pun intended which is why i love love the multiplayer online mode feature above everything else in the game this is my favorite part of the game is diving with friends and diving with you guys has been the biggest takeaway for me i was very disappointed in the game when i first started playing it i was like okay huh. and then when i started the online dives and i was interacting with you guys and diving with you guys that's when i really started playing the game for hours <laughs> and i really found enjoyment in it i love the emotes i think they're so much fun for some reason and i love that we as a group get to discover things together to, to, to discover the umls to you know salvage things and kind of mark them so that the uh, that other people can find them to really fill out the map together it's just such a like a group experience and it's so much fun so the online mode is definitely the biggest takeaway for me i love doing group dives so much and that was really what made me like okay i'm glad i did buy the game even if there are some things that I was disappointed by. So the online mode is definitely my favorite part of the game. But overall, as a game, it is a fun scuba diving experience. Like the title says, it does not feel endless ocean to me. There are references and there are, you know, animals that were in the other games, but it just, it feels more like a, a mini game from the other endless ocean games. And I don't mean that I hate the game by saying that. I think it's an enjoyable game, but it's just not Endless Ocean to me. And I'm so like heavy on that specific line because the games were such a big part of growing up and such a big part of my love for marine biology that it was a little bit of a bigger deal to have a third game coming out after 15 years. So I don't really associate it too much with Endless Ocean. Uh, I call it Endless Ocean Luminous, but it feels like a different game. And honestly, that's okay. I think it's fun. Again, I love the online mode so much and I like exploring around and diving and discovering things. So that's a plus for me. There's just so many aspects that aren't very, that are lacking and don't make it as much of an Endless Ocean experience for me, but it is a fun game. If you're looking for a scuba diving game to just chill and relax to on your Switch, this is the way to go even if there are things that aren't as, en as enjoyable. I know people who haven't played Endless Ocean before love the game because they didn't have that kind of expectation behind it. And I'm very happy for you if you love this game. I enjoy it. I'm enjoying it, especially like taking it for what it is 
and not finding too much disappointment in the fact that it is a third endless ocean game <laughs> if i could rate this this game out of five stars i'd probably give it a three and a half <laughs> three and a half just for the online mode i feel like if that was the only feature in the game that that's basically why i play so please let me know as we are quite a bit into the game being out now let me know what your thoughts are and how you are enjoying the game uh kind of more in after a long period of time of being able to play it how are you enjoying it still playing it and thank you guys so much for watching this review i appreciate you all so much i've met amazing amazing people through this community and i'm very grateful for you guys that is all I have for today. Thank you all so much for coming along and I will see you next time. Bye guys.